Hi and welcome to another GameSpot unboxing, this time for the all-digital Xbox Series S. That's the new next-gen Xbox, much smaller than the Xbox Series X, which packs more of a tech punch. But the Xbox Series S is not to be sniffed at, so let's take a look at what's inside this thing. Quick look at the box before we open it. Pretty standard fare. Look at some of the games on the back. Again, just like the Series X, bit awkward that Halo Infinite is on there given the delay, but delays happen. Also, Cyberpunk got delayed. That happened. But let's take a look inside. So one thing I can immediately tell you just from handling this box is how much lighter the Series S is compared to the Series X, which was certainly chunky. <laughs> but let's take a look inside. Packaged like it's Christmas, basically gift wrapped with a little uh, bow, I guess, around the middle. Let's take a look at the accessories. Product and warranty guide, the most exciting part of any new console. Uh, HDMI cable, so in the Xbox Series X, they give you an HDMI 2.1 cable, ultra high speed. This is HDMI, uh, just a regular, I believe like a 2.0. It's not 2.1, it just says HDMI high speed on it, which makes sense because the Series S uh, outputs in 1440p, it can't go up to you know 8K like the Series X can. Um, so it would make no sense really to give you a 2.1 cable. Next up, power cable, pretty standard. Um, if you have an Xbox One with this power cable, not the old ones that had the brick, um, this one should work, your old one, sorry, should work with your new Xbox if you get a Series S or X. Next up, the brand new controller. Comes with batteries. I long for the day when Xbox controllers don't require AA batteries, but I guess some, a little tradition we're taking into the next generation. But, Brand new controller, so same as the one you're getting with the Series X, except obviously this one is white. A quick overview, um, new changes to the D-pad, kind of more of a rotational D-pad, which feels quite nice. Uh, a dedicated share button this time, so no longer are you having to go in and out of menus to try and take screenshots and share them. You have a very like clear way of doing that that's just right there on your controller. View button, options, Face buttons and uh, thumbsticks feel exactly the same. The biggest difference is, you know, texturized uh, trigger buttons um, and little texturized grips on here, little plastic texturized grips. So for my money, the Elite Series 2 is still my favorite controller. It has that weight behind it. Um, this is still a fantastic controller. You know, an Xbox controller, you're never really gonna go wrong, um, but it's not as, I don't know, beefy or powerful as I feel the Elite Series 2 is. But I will reserve full judgment until I've played games with this thing. Time for the console itself. Oh, I need to stop ripping the consoles as I'm unboxing them. Uh, let's take this out. Quickly before we put this box down, uh, you have a quick start guide that just quickly tells you how to put batteries in your controller, how to sync the controller to the console, as well as instructions to download the Xbox app on your smartphone, and that way you can very quickly just get your console up and running. Look at this, it's tiny. I, I said I was surprised when I saw the Series X in person, because I thought the Series X was gonna be much bigger than it was, but I am genuinely surprised at the size of the Series S. Now I understand how no one saw it in the background of Phil Spencer's uh, office, Big Phil's office. Uh, okay. It's so small! <laughs> I genuinely can't believe how small it is. It's like... God, okay. Let's let's take a look at the, uh, the console itself. So on the front, you've got this nice it's not a uh, McDonald's, uh, you know, like ordering window. It's, you've got vents here, you've got a vent on the top of it, on this side too. You've got some at the back, but let's, let's explore it in further detail. So, front of the console, it has, it's quite stark. I mean, obviously it doesn't have a disk drive if we look at it from this side, which is probably the, the rotation 
This is probably how you'll have it in your house. Uh, doesn't have a disk drive, so very, very important to note if you are on the fence about getting a Series S or a Series X. So the Series X, the black console, comes with a disk drive. The Series S, which is this small white one, does not meaning that you will have to download and keep all your games on the console itself. Don't buy discs. Don't put discs on your Christmas list if you have this because there's nowhere for it to go. But similarly to the Series X, you've got a nice power button to press there. You're not gonna accidentally be turning this thing on and off. You've got a button to connect to your controller uh, wirelessly and you've got a USB port at the front if you ever need to connect any accessories to it. If you're having it in the vertical uh, position, you've got like little rubberized feet, which are very cute. And yeah, you've got the same on the back of it here if you want to have it flat. So looking at the ports on the back, you've got your Ethernet, two more USBs to charge uh, controllers, peripherals, etc. You've got HDMI out. You've got the expansion card slot. So this is a 512 gigabyte solid state drive um, in terms of memory. Games these days can get pretty big. I think Warzone right now is, you know, well over 100 gigabytes. It's probably closer to 200 at this point if you have everything installed. So bear that in mind is that if you have a Series S and you're not in the business of downloading and deleting games after you finish them, if you want to keep a bunch of games on your hard drive that you're kind of hopping between, it's probably in your best interest to get some kind of external storage. So you can get an official card that will go in the slot that's currently running at about $220, which is obviously a bit pricey, but if you go to uh, gamespot.com, Michael Heim has done a very good um, kind of explainer on using external hard drives, just standard USB ones, um, and what the difference in load times is like. He was running those tests on a Series X, but rest assured, we'll also be running them for Series S. Can't imagine there'll be that much difference um, in speeds, but wait for Michael to give you the final word on that. And then finally at the bottom, that's where you plug in your AC power adapter. And in terms of weight, uh, it's surprisingly light. It's like the weight of maybe a hardback copy of the entire Lord of the Rings, all three in one. That's maybe, like, it. it's so surprisingly light and small. I can't really believe it. Um, but what a neat little guy. <laughs>so there you have it that's everything that comes in an xbox series s retail box keep your eyes peeled to gamespot.com and youtube.com slash gamespot because we'll be putting this little guy through his paces and comparing him to his big brother the xbox series x thanks for watching